Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Dylan from the Kaiju Vault, here to bring you all things Godzilla, Kaiju, Gamera, and Tokusatsu as a whole. Ah, little Godzilla, have you grown in the time between Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla to Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla? In a really weird Pillsbury Doughboy way. I'm just counting my blessings that he's not mean, yeah? But anyway. I have recently purchased the SH Monster Arts version of the little guy for just 40 bucks. I figured an SH Monster Arts for 40 bucks? Yeah, I'll get that. And honestly, for the price I paid, I feel like I got my money's worth, but only just. He has 13 points of articulation, and for its size, I feel it's very nicely detailed. But what I really enjoy is imprisoning the little bugger in a crystal jail, just like in the film. Yes, he comes with two stands which you can attach and add the crystals onto, so you can imprison your own little Godzilla. So, honestly, for 40 bucks, I feel this figure is worth it, although mine at least has a loose left hand, which is kind of annoying, but I'll deal. I also enjoy making him look like the kid from Home Alone. <laughs> But anyways, guys, that's all I really have to say about Little Godzilla here. If you're searching for a cheap SH Monster Arts just to say you have an SH Monster Arts, I'd say get this guy, otherwise steer away from him. He's not amazing. Remember all to keep on... <laughs>